What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skittin' back at it again with your weekly Twitter advice. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday, uh, go back and watch yesterday's, uh, cause that's the part one. You're on the part two, you're watching in the wrong order, homie. Don't you know how numbers work? In the description, the link. Chances of it actually ending up there are fairly slim. But, just for you, yes, just for you, I will try to make sure that the link is in the description down below. Come right, come, come right back, okay? All right, got it. We are here for part two of weekly Twitter advice. Weekly Twitter advice is the, the bee's knees. As of the day that I filmed this, it's 29 days until I am murdered, till I'm married. Less than a month and I am excitamundo. With all of that said, we're gonna go ahead and get started, see what Twitter has to say about the shenanigans, and we're gonna go ahead and start with question. All right, so this is the one where she was like, I'm in love, I'm doing all these freaky things for him. He got me pregnant and now he left me and is marrying somebody else. This one says, you flew the freak flag. You flew the freak flag and did all that and y'all weren't married? Cue Ryan Reynolds looking very frustrated. To be fair, I don't think you necessarily have to be married to be willing to do freaky things with somebody, okay? Um, I, I definitely think people who aren't married are like willing to explore, you know, their sexual fetishes and urges together, but it is kind of unfortunate. Consider yourself lucky he's out of your life, but get that child support from him no matter what. You deserve something for putting up with that fool. With that fool. True facts. What is this? Oh no, baby, he wasn't gonna marry you. You not wholesome enough to be his wife. Nope, 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 nope. Because what we do not do here, Hope Biscuits, what we do not do, what do we not do? We do not slut shame here on Skittin' Says, okay? It is not lit. It is not Skittin' Lit when you are slut shaming. Do not approve, okay? You do not have to be some kind of wholesome, Virgin Mary figure for a man to be willing to love you and marry you. That's fucking bullshit. Like, Y'all are over here acting like fucking bitches who say, wait until marriage don't get cheated on every fucking day. Like, you're not wholesome. And get that shit out of here. You don't deserve the name Maleficent because Maleficent was a fucking badass bitch. You think Maleficent was fucking quote unquote wholesome? No, get your shit out of here. This one says, you pleased him sexually, but you two weren't on the same page in terms of your relationship. Raise your child, collect that child support, and be with someone who wants what you want from you. I feel like that is excellent advice. Perfect, no slut shaming, and it's just y'all weren't on the same page. Now, I do find it a little, a little uh, odd that he was like, he has already proposed to somebody else. Like, what do you, like, I don't understand. Like, you've been doing all this freaky shit for him, so when did he even have time to propose to somebody else? Like, all right, so this one says, Eat it because you like it, not because he likes watching you. My advice is to get yourself a girlfriend. I, I did the kissy mode. Wait, no, I didn't do it. I have to. I don't think I can wink and kiss at the same time. I mean, I can't really wink anyway, but anyway. More people incredulous that she did it as a girlfriend. Whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all are all old. The only advice at this point is to find a way to co-parent peacefully with him. Also, stop playing bisexual for these men. That won't make you wifey and it won't make him stay. Good luck, girl. Now, that is also, I think, the right tone for this. I fully support, like I said, I fully support people um, who are in a, you know, a sexual relationship to explore their interests and fetishes, etc., etc. However, if you do not like women, if you are not into women, you don't, you know, you're not trying to be all up in their, all up in their pink taco, okay? Like, you don't need to do it for, you don't, you don't have threesomes and stuff for the other person's pleasure. It's supposed to be a mutual pleasure thing. I mean, regardless of if you're married, not married, etc., etc., it has to be something that you also enjoy. And so I think that's probably... I think that's probably the biggest takeaway. 
get your money and make sure that when you do things sexually with somebody else that it's something that you like and that you like doing and so that you guys can both derive pleasure from that we're gonna go ahead and move on to question two uh so question two is the dude who decided to put his dick in crazy and now he's surprised that she's being crazy when he's trying to break up with it when he's trying to break up with her i don't understand what advice he's looking for but let's see what twitter has to say break up with her he did that already andrew thank you Get a restraining order, leave her, leave her. If you stay, you'll end up dead. He already left. He already left. Oh, maybe he didn't. Maybe that's why he said he tried. Maybe he didn't leave her yet. Oh, look at Vanessa Hudgens. I wonder if Vanessa Hudgens know that she's something of a mini celebrity here in skit and lit world. Should I tell her? No, we'll let her bask in her anonymity. Uh, this says they may not arrest her, but they can for sure get a restraining order against her, so get to filing one. Nothing that she's doing is cute and was never an indication that she likes you a lot. She's just controlling. Hopefully, you see that now. This says move, bruh. Get out of town ASAP. At Q Gordon Ramsay, you're no longer safe. You're not safe, boo. Get the fuck out of there. Yes. Yes. God damn it, baby. What? They fucked up our pizza. How? Open it. Oh, here, yeah, hold it. Oh, yeah. holding. Just facing the camera? Yeah, so they can see you. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're not crying? No, I'm not crying. Are you close to crying I'm for a heart pizza? I'm close to crying. And jalapenos. How are we gonna cut this? It's already cut. I just I just recut it. It's the itiest bittiest pizzas of pizza. It was a regular pizza and then I cut it into a heart. Oh, they didn't cut it into a heart. No, no, I cut it into a heart. This oh, okay. Is, this is arts and crafts. I was gonna say, I didn't even think they could do that. No, they can't. No, they can't. There's just a box full of crust and I was gonna say, extra so, pizza, pizza, pizza. So, so where's the rest of the yeah, pizza? Yeah, no, it was a large. I, I cut it into a personal. This, yeah, this is definitely not a large pizza. Well, thank you, my you. sweet. Have fun. We'll have to play some games later. This was cute. I don't want it in here. There we go. Tempting me. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Restraining order, personal protection devices, and please consider moving. Oh, and you didn't try to break things off. You did break things off. She's an ex. Also, get therapy. This Marcus Marcus said, go to the military. You'll get oh, you'll get to go overseas away from her, and you're going to need the combat training. <laughs> I mean, that's it. What else can you do? She threw an explosive device in your car. For the record, what kind of explosive device? Like, where do you even get explosive device? I don't want to know. Never mind. Don't want to know. We're going to go ahead and move on, because like I said, there's nothing else you can say to this man except get out as soon as you can so they're gonna move on to question three which is the one where her ex's legs are crushed and she's over here bothering this man for fifty dollars i want to see twitter drag her i want to see it let me see it let me see it and this says this is the brokest shit i ever read on here that's a fact are you on drugs? That's the only reason I can fathom you're so pressed to steal $50 from a man who is in the hospital recovering from his legs being crushed. If I was his family, I would offer to help them whoop your ass when you showed up. Get a life. Thoughts and prayers about his legs. That shit is fucked up. This one says, I mean, it's really not worth your mental health here either. You might have to write it off till he's better. Till he's better, bitch! What? I understand it's a decent chunk, but might be better to just let it lie at this time. No! Leave this man alone over your $50! What the fuck? No! Oh, here's Vanessa Hutchins again! She said, huh? You're not immediate family, so why would they let you see him? And why are you asking for $50 when he's in recovery and possibly needing more surgery and rehab? Sis, if you don't go on about your business, go ask somebody else for $50 and leave that man alone. Leave him. Leave him alone. Let it go. This person said, 
So you about as broke as these legs, as his legs are, is what you're telling me. Let it go. I'm done. I'm done. We are ending off of that. That was fucked up. I'm done. I'm out. No. Peace out, Hobiscuits. It's getting lit.